Hello and welcome to the Book Bunch. My name is Sam. It is so great to have you guys here for another video. Today I am going to do a little bit of a get to know me video because there have been so many more of you join the channel recently and I am so grateful and so blessed and I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to let you guys know a bit more about me. Um, because I thought you might be interested in that kind of thing because I haven't done anything like this before, I don't think. So, I'm just going to like let you guys know some favourites and some things going on at the moment. And if there are anything, like any other things you want to know about me that you're curious about, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can about those. As long as they're nothing too, like, I don't know. <laughs> things that I want to keep private but apart from that go for it so the first thing I wanted to let you guys know is my name is Samantha Gibson I go by Sam just because it's kind of what I've always been called but a fun fact about me is that when I was younger I really wanted to be a Sammy no one would call me Sammy though so it ended up just reverting back to Sam and yes I've been Sam ever since and if you guys uh, want to, you guys can follow me over at Instagram and my Instagram is the book bunch on booktube because the book bunch was already taken by the time I made an Instagram. So don't know what that's all about. <laughs> don't know who this other book bunch is, but yes, mine is the book bunch on booktube. I do post stuff fairly regularly, probably more regularly than on here just because it's a little bit easier to snap a quick photo or to share things that are going on in the community. Something I did want to like ask you guys as well is I've been thinking of doing like maybe a Christian version of like fantasy sci-fi or just bookish news in general. Thinking about doing that as like maybe a once a month or something to update you guys on like releases that are coming out, stuff like that. Don't know. You guys need to let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But my favourite genres of reading, if you don't know, is fantasy and sci-fi. I also do dabble in classics, non-fiction, and a little bit of like cosy kind of crime. I have so far read one romance. Um, don't know how keen I am to keep reading them. It was definitely a good experience. And I definitely think I'd revisit like romance as a genre again. It's just not on the forefront of my mind. But there is one book called Stay With Me by Becky Wade, which book lover Amanda, um, she has requested that I read it and has suggested it. So I do have a copy of that and I will get to it at some point. But apart from that, I don't have any romance plans. Contemporary, I do dabble in a little bit as well, mostly to do with like foreign contemporary fiction. I really love reading um, Asian fiction. I really think that sometimes it is really cool. Um, for example, there is a book that I really like called The Telephone Box at the End of the World or Edge of the World or something like that and it was awesome. Um, and yeah, there's some things like that that I dabble in. So I'm mostly an all-rounder but I try and stick mostly to fantasy and sci-fi for the main part, just because that's what I enjoy the most. I, as you guys know, like to read clean content or Christian content. I'm not super picky about if it is Christian or not, as long as it is clean and fits like my definition of clean. And my definition of clean is basically anything that doesn't feel overly <laughs> sinful. Um, so like, I don't like super strong violence. I try to avoid language, um, especially like God's name in vain, any sexual immorality of any kind, um, things like murder, betrayal, cheating, that kind of thing. I do try to avoid, um, obviously there's some stories in fantasy and sci-fi where you need those things because that's what the story kind of is asking for. And in some cases I can let it slide. Um, I've been reading for a long time so things like swearing if the book is really good but there's a bit of language 
I can for the most part just kind of like my brain just blocks it out um because I've been practiced like I've trained myself over the years to do that but yeah for the most part I try and keep it as clean as possible and that's what I try and recommend to you guys other fun facts about me my hobbies include I am an artist um both well my three main genres of art are sketching digital and painting all for different reasons uh, another fun fact about me is I have a bachelor's degree in video game creation. Um, I haven't got to work in that field yet just because here in Australia there's really not much in terms of that. I would have to move at least out of state if not out of the country and that's just not something on the table right now. So I am just enjoying being a stay-at-home mum and I have a beautiful little daughter. She is about to turn two. Her name is Willow. She's really awesome. And I am married to a man named Chris, who is pretty great as well. We've been married almost five years and I am turning 25 this year. So that's fun. <laughs> uh, I am one of those young Christian married people that you hear about. Um, we actually didn't meet at school. We went to different schools that were actually like an hour away from each other. We ended up meeting at a mutual friend's engagement party. So that's always fun. Um, and yes, so what else can I tell you guys? What else do you guys want to know? My most anticipated release of this year that is yet to come out. That's really hard actually, because there's quite a few, but I'm waiting for my copy of um, Tris and the Emerald Sea, or whatever that new Brandon Sanderson is called, because I have pre-ordered it, but it has not arrived yet. I'm not sure when it is set to arrive, but I was hoping it would be here by now, but it's still pending um, a delivery date. I'm really looking forward to Soulmark coming out, which is by JJ Fisher. And I found out that she's an Australian. And so we're going to have to organize a meetup because that is awesome. She wrote Calor, which I absolutely loved. It was a five out of five star read. So I'm super excited for Soul Mark because it's a pirate story. And I have received an arc for it because I did make it onto the street team. So I'm really keen to get stuck into that. Um, any others that I'm anticipating for this year? I'm not too sure. There's quite a few, but they're probably the most notable for next year though part three of the consortium is coming out so that is the recorder series i'm super excited for that one unbelievably pumped and then there is my favorite books so far this year that's a really hard one but probably Callow was really good recorder absolutely my favorite that is like a favorite of all time that the only book I would say it is second to and again it's a super close call is Wing Feather Saga which is my favorite of all time but Recorder is like pretty much tied for first place for that and what else have I read this year that I really really liked I really liked Vivid as well they all ended up being Enclave books which I didn't intend it just so happened to be that they were and man I've got to say I'm so impressed with the quality of books that Enclave produces like as a publisher and as a Christian publisher they are like amazing if you like sci-fi and fantasy because that's all they do is Christian sci-fi and fantasy and they are awesome and I was so lucky to be a part of their like for the first half of this year I'm part of their like promo team on like Instagram and it has been so fun it's like I don't get paid or anything for my opinions all of my opinions are my own but my job is just to like if they are doing a cover reveal or a book release they just want me to like get the word out and it has been so fun being a part of that because the hype for some of these books is so real and it's so easy to get caught up in that and some of these books I've been waiting to read and so it's been awesome to 
be part of that, kind of get to know the authors a little bit better and all of that kind of thing. So I'm having an absolutely wonderful time. If you get a chance, like if you see on their Instagram that they are looking for people, definitely apply. It is awesome. Um, okay, what else can I let you guys know? Some more fun facts about me. I am definitely a dog person over a cat person. <laughs> I don't have anything against cats. I just can't really see myself ever owning one just because yeah I they're a bit too unpredictable for me um I also have a major phobia of frogs again it's the unpredictability the fact that you can't tell when or where they are going to jump and I've had some bad experiences with frogs as a kid um most notably when I was really little like I'm talking like under five years old I went to the toilet in the middle of the night and I sat down and a frog jumped on my bare bottom and that is traumatizing <laughs> and so I am just yes not a fan of frogs sorry guys um but I don't really have many other fears like I'm not scared of bugs or snakes or anything like that or even spiders none of that kind of thing bothers me unless like something jumps at me and I don't know what it is like for that 30 seconds before I find out what it is that can freak me out um what else as you guys know we are planning on moving into a caravan we were meant to move in about this time last year because in like two weeks or something will be the first anniversary of us buying the caravan um but we are still renovating it because we ended up finding some pretty serious damage that we had to fix and then that is just taking a long time because it's just my husband working on it when he has a free day here and there, which is few and far between. He's doing a great job though, and I cannot wait to show you guys. The color palette is like black and like rich chocolate woods, and there's like a nice green color, and there's some fun wallpaper, and it's just gonna be a great time. We're kind of having a lot of fun with it just because like it will be our home and it is like such a small space that we thought it would be fun to make it interesting rather than boring plus it's just a caravan so like it's not like our forever home or anything where we really like super care about certain style or anything so we're having a bit of fun going to live our gypsy lives not that we are that kind of people but it'll just give us a chance to travel a bit more which will be fun um, but right now we are living in, um, my mother-in-law's house. This is like one of the homes that she owns, um, which she used to live in, but then she got a job in like five hours away and had to move out, but she didn't want to sell the house because she is hoping to come back here once she retires. And so we are living in here with my brother-in-law at the moment and that is a whole time. <laughs> but yes, we are very blessed and grateful to be able to do that. In the meantime, other fun facts about me. My favorite books growing up were definitely Matilda, BFG, Secret Garden, Anne of Green Gables. I even really loved the Faraway Tree series. That was awesome as well. But they are the ones I can remember, like, off the top of my head. <laughs> um, my favourite books as a teenager were... I don't even know. I didn't do heaps of reading as a teenager. That was kind of, like, my... Like, up in... Like, I kind of read until I was, like, 14. And then I kind of took a break for a few years. And then it was, like, kind of read... Like, a couple years ago that I got back into reading... Um, but I did really like the series of unfortunate event books. I had those for ages and then there was just like random books here and there that I enjoyed, but I don't really remember them. Like they don't stick out. Um, fun books from school though that I got to read were the Geronimo Stilton books, but I think I was maybe 13 when I got into those and they're those like mouse, the books about the, the, the mouse and all of his friends and stuff. I loved those. They were a lot of fun. I was also into like dumb books like Diary of a Wimpy Kid and um, Captain Underpants and stuff like that. I know, super random and weird, but I did enjoy those. I think it's just because they were dumb and funny and like 
sometimes you can get a bit too serious as a kid or have serious situations happening around you and you so you just want something in a chua and that is good too um my favorite movie is avatar like from 2010 or whenever that came out it just is i am part of that bandwagon i didn't mean to be part of that bandwagon but it just was my favorite for so long but yes my favorite disney princesses are anastasia and princess kida or queen kida i should say from atlantis and then um pocahontas those three were my absolute favorites and i and like apart from those if i have to pick like a mainstream disney princess it would be belle just because like her favorite color is yellow she has my dream like ball gown and she has like a love for books and reading and the whole library situation i just wanted to be her <laughs> which i feel like is a common thing for a lot of book lovers um what else can i tell you guys that you might be interested in knowing about me I don't know. I'm pretty boring, guys. What other hobbies do I have? I love playing video games, as I said. My favorite video game, if we're talking about, like, that I consistently come back to, the two that I consistently come back to are The Sims and Minecraft. And I know that's super lame, but it just is. Apart from those, though, my favorite games to play are RPGs. I love a good role-playing game love following a story, love Skyrim, love things like Don't Starve, and even just lots of little indie games. I have a lot of those. I also um, got really into Seven Days to Die for a while, which is a zombie horde game, which is just so chaotic, but I really loved it. I am fascinated with zombies for some reason, just all of it, even like the cheesy zombies i'm totally okay with i have watched pretty much every zombie movie and every zombie tv show there is some of them don't like because they're just inappropriate but some of them were really good and really fun and same with books any zombie books you have to recommend please let me know in the comments below because love that um yeah i can't think of anything else to tell you guys but if there is anything you'd like to know about me I would love to hear your questions and answer those for you and tell me a bit about yourself too because I love to know about you guys and what you're doing and what made you subscribe to my channel, what content do you like from me and just like fun stuff like what are your hobbies, like what's your favourite books to read, that kind of thing. I'd love to know but I know it wasn't really a bookish video but I'm kind of in between reading at the moment just because we got back from camping and then I rushed to get Wednesday's video out and I haven't done heaps of reading this week so I thought I would save the next reading uh, book review video for the next one so it's actually substantial but yes have a great week guys I'll see you in the next video and yeah